Hello everyone, Forex here. Today I would like to talk a bit about weather. Some of you may remember a video I made long time ago about basic commands to change weather. We went through clouds, rain, lightning, rainbows and the most basic rules of how the weather behaves in Arma 3. Today I would like to show you the other half of the commands. Those that don't directly change the weather, but only gather information about it. Getting some info about the current or future weather can be useful for mission frameworks, highly randomized missions or missions with a lot of custom gadgets and detailed info screens. Without direct influence from scripts, the weather starts at predefined values, then changes to the forecast values within a set time period and then changes randomly over time. Missions can also start with a randomized weather, where upon the mission start, all values are randomly selected and applied. Or you can select random weather and give the player an opportunity to wait in a base and see how much the weather changes. Of course, time of day and weather conditions are both important in any scenario, so I thought it would be nice to have some way of obtaining this kind of info and then using it in the mission. So in this video we'll talk about the following commands. Overcast Fog Rain, fog forecast, overcast forecast, and the in-game function sunrise sunset time. Now if you remember the weather controlling commands, you know what overcast is, it's the most general weather controlling component, changes the quantity of clouds, the overall lightning, enables rain and thunders. The value moves between 0 and 1 and you need at least 0.7 or more to get rain working. But we are not talking about changing weather, so the command overcast gives you this value anything between 0 and 1, and while there isn't much you can do with this value directly, you can read it. 0.45 or less is generally nice weather. 0.8 and up is the worst possible weather with the possibility of rain. Rain command is crystal clear, 0 to 1 indicating the intensity of rain. And again, as with all these commands, by simply comparing the current rain value with 0, 0 0.5 or other numbers can give you a clear idea of the current weather and you can use this to tell the player of the conditions. Fog, same as rain, a very simple command again. Now how to use this info, I'll show you a simple example, the pre-emission briefing screen where you can write all kinds of useful info. Well, it's easy to obtain all info you need to make a dynamic text telling the player about the weather, no matter what it actually is. I will be using init.sqf, a script that runs automatically at the start of the mission, because that is the best place to create briefing notes and also a good place to get weather info. Now I have many opportunities. First, let me show you the easiest way to go about this. First, let's get the overcast value. Then, if the value is below 0.5, we can add a diary record saying that the weather is nice. If not, we can write that the weather is bad. That's possible, but there's more that can be done. We can use if then multiple times, or even switch to, to do a much more precise selection and create a text based on that. A better technique, mostly because it creates more specific description of the situation. We can also use a variable to prepare all different variations ahead of time and then just choose which one to use. We'll do that by replacing the hard-coded string with a variable and filling the variable ahead of time with the desired text. We can use switch do or several if-then constructs to see what will be the most appropriate text. But the best, most precise technique would be to not only ask for the general overcast and just guess the weather from there, but actually get all info that we can and then use all of it. Now that sounds simple at first, ok, we'll also use rain, fog, lightnings, maybe even daytime if you want, daytime returns the current time of day, surprisingly, can be used to determine whether it's nighttime or daytime. But now we have not one variable, we have five of them. And each one can have say 4 to 10 different values that interest us. It can be sunny, cloudy, very cloudy, but it can also be not foggy, slightly foggy, very foggy, occasional rain, heavy rain, morning, evening, you get the idea. 
it's a lot of situations and we can get any combination of these values. That means that we would need to create a ton of different descriptions and then an even bigger of if then constructions that would have a very small chance to actually work in the end and nobody would ever be able to make any sense of that script ever again. Meaning that if you don't get it working on the first try, you get lost in the logic of the script and you end up with a tangled mess that doesn't do anything. We'll instead change the way the nodes are added. The best strategy is to go through individual conditions and build the final text out of smaller blocks. Remember that all we need is a simple string at the end, a string stored in a variable that we will send into the create diary record command. We can make a new string out of joining two other strings together with a simple plus sign. This appends the second string at the end of the first one. Well, that's all you need. We'll start with an empty string. And each time we get some new info, we'll add it to the mix. So we'll get info about the overcast and we'll add a sentence or two about the general weather. Then we'll add something about the rain, fog, time of day. Of course, it's possible not to add anything. If there's, for example, no fog, we don't need to inform the player about the absence of the fog. Or we can add extra info. This will create a very nice varied weather description that will work for every mission because it checks all possible conditions and always creates a corresponding text to it. In the end, we now have the full description that we sent to the command and let it display in the mission. Alright, now for the second part of the tutorial, the weather forecast. The use of the commands is pretty much exactly the same, but it's important to understand that the weather in Arma, while trying to simulate the real world, doesn't really behave according to actual laws of nature. It doesn't change based on global air currents and you can't predict it too far into the future. Actually, as far as I know, you can predict the next change of weather and that's it. So you always see one step ahead. On the other hand, not many people plan to live in the Arma world for several days without a single pause. Missions change and cycle, the world keeps resetting, so it's not a big deal. And even predicting the next weather change can often be an overkill. But let's not worry about that, we can predict the weather in Arma 3 and that's pretty cool. If something's cool, people will like it even if it doesn't have a practical use in the mission. Of course, cool looking and useful is the best combo. Enough rambling, let's have a look at the function sunrise sunset time. As the name suggests, this function will give you the time of sunrise and sunset for the given day. Pretty cool, it can be useful to tell the player about this sort of stuff so that they can plan ahead. The only small issue is that the return value is a float, or a number with some decimals. 830 will be returned as 8.5 with this command. So if you are planning on adding this little feature onto your in-game newspaper, you are going to have to edit the info a little bit. About 2 minutes of googling gave me a quick and simple formula for converting this value into what we are more used to. And now we can happily display at what time the sun rises in the world of Arma 3. I would like to show you one more script. It uses everything we have said so far and creates a small message telling the player about the upcoming weather, time of sunrise and sunset and when approximately the weather will change. So this is a very lightweight form of some cool looking gadget that you could have in your base, telling the player something more about the environment around. I know that it isn't hugely important, but there are two reasons why I think it's still worth some time. One, it's a small detail and those are important in well-made missions. You have many missions that do things right, that you enjoy playing. And once you get your mission on that level, where people enjoy it, the one thing that will make it really stand out is the attention to detail and all little extra functions that you manage to get in there. Much like what other full games do, the extra level of detail and care for your creation can really make people appreciate what you have done. Reason 2, this is secretly a scripting tutorial. <laughs> Sorry if you haven't spotted that yet and now feel betrayed, but there's a fair bit of good scripting practice and some useful info here and there. So if you are at least a little bit interested, this is yet another good way to learn more about SQF. The script is pretty straightforward. First, we get all weather info possible. Then we just compare the values and build a string that is then displayed on the screen. 
The interesting thing that you should note here is the fact that we are using the command format to format the string as we are showing it on the screen. That means that for the sunrise and sunset values, which can be a massive combination of different numbers, we just use a variable that is sent into the command, the game reads the value, adds it into the string and all the work is done for us. Also the command format is usually presented on a single line, hint, format, blah blah blah, percent signed one, end of string, comma and variable. But as you can see, this first part, that's just a simple string. So you don't have to always follow this example, you can create the string elsewhere and then just let the game get it from a variable as is shown in my example and as I was explaining earlier in the video. Well right, this is just a simple hint, it's not really all that impressive, but this script can be a good base for any kind of advanced feature that you would want to have in your mission. Let your imagination run wild, think of all possible applications and then just go for it. You can always start with something more simple and then just build from there. Of course you probably aren't that much into meteorology, but you can apply this to anything you are making. Capture the main idea of your creation, add more details to it, once you are happy with the functionality add some form and good looks. We have gone pretty far in this video alone from one word commands to pretty scripts that are able to construct a paragraph of text based on varying conditions. I'll leave you with a clip of where it can go next, a further refinement of the same script, only now the hint has been replaced with more fluff and effects. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. The Altis Weather Forecast, brought to you by Vrana Corporation. Right now, the sky is blocked by clouds, but little to no rain, on the island. You can see when the sun rises and sets on the screen behind me right now. We are expecting, heavy clouds with rain, in, the next, three, hours be careful on the roads we are expecting heavy fog in three hours well that's all for now make sure to tune in for the next altis weather forecast brought to you by vrana corporation